Good morning and welcome back. Well, what a trip we've just had. We set off yesterday to Scotland and we've had to pull off the road, haven't we? We have. The weather, there's weather warnings everywhere. We were driving up the M6 near Shap and it was like all of a sudden the van what nearly blew into us. <laughs> And we over he overtook us and then coming on he realised how windy it was and he slowed down and now we overtook him and it nearly blew into us. Didn't Some he? people don't know how to drive in bad weather, do they? You need to slow down windy, and just be a bit more patient. Yeah. So we said, right, enough's enough. Enough for wacky racers. I found a lovely pub just to pull into last night. Just outside Carlisle, aren't we? Yeah. We've been in no rush, so I'd rather be safe for another day than rushing around in stupid driving conditions like that and as we've said we're coming up here into scotland for four or five weeks aren't we yeah. weather dependent it has been pretty bad um we've been weather warnings we believe has been down in manchester tornadoes and stuff like that so it's been absolutely crazy hasn't tornadoes it? in manchester snow blocking a9 further up in northern scotland and flooding no it's electricity bad flooding. so where we were the other day uh, dumfries the other week mm. that's really that's well, all underwater yeah where well, we there. showed you that big um, river dock park it is yeah that's all underwater. The road's closed down there. So it? yeah, we've woke up in a lovely car park after having a fantastic meal last night in a brilliant pub. The the, the staff couldn't be more friendlier. I believe a girl on my burger it was massive, wasn't it? <sighs> yeah, it was a big burger. And the the best thing about it, Monday to Thursday, it's two meals for fifteen pound. Mm. And they made it made sure you knew about it as well. So I had steak and ale pie, and you had a burger, like yep. you said. Bacon oh cheese my burger. god, they've got no scrimping on portions there. So today we are on with making some breakfast and moving on to our next destination. Now I'm going to make some spam. Spam. Now everyone's been on about spam and not being able to get it out of the can. Mm. Come on, I'll show you what you need to do. Need there to is a nick. There is a knack. We need to do a disclaimer, don't we? We don't buy spam anymore. <laughs> it's too expensive. Pork and ham chopped, and to be fair, it's very, very similar, isn't it? So it's this one here. Yeah. So we get that now, and it's a fraction of the price, and mm. it's exactly the same, isn't it? Well, more or less, is it's not quite as nice, but that's half price. If I if think less, it is, though. it's exactly the same. So I'm going to show you how to get spam out of a can. Everyone's been digging into it and trying to pull it out like that. Just go around the edge with a sharp knife like that. Now on the proper spam cans, they will tell you, push, put pressure on the can at either end like that, till you hear a pop. You've got a slice, got a big yeah, gash Yeah, well I, I, I did that earlier on being stupid, didn't I? Like a gash. Here it comes, yeah. and that's how easy it is. So just put some pressure on the ends there till it clicks, mm. and then drop it out. That's how easy it is. Everyone seems to be farting with spam. No, you, you don't need, need to. need to cut it neatly now, Lisa. Well, I've been cutting it like that. And it's wasteful because you no, can't get no. You, no it isn't you cut it like that you get loads more out of it look you can't wait oh chico's getting that enjoying that yeah right let's get cooked and we'll show you the butty when it's made eh so yesterday, before we set off, we went nipped into Morrison's and I said to Mark, we get some bread rolls. Comes back with these salt and pepper rolls. Now, the reason why he's got these, one, he thought they taste like salt and pepper chips. No. And two, our friend Annalise and Jordan, who are Steps to Adventure, they had them on their channel the other night and as soon as he saw them, he said, I've got to get some of those. So Annalise, I hope my spam butty tastes all right with these. I'll let you know how we get on with them in a minute, but yeah, salt and pepper rolls. Never stops, does it? Check this out for a spam butty. On salt and pepper flavoured cobs. Yeah, salt and black pepper more, not salt and pepper yeah. cobs. There you go, look. Red sauce, egg and then spam's underneath. What do you have? Red or brown? We've asked this a long time ago, didn't we? We sorted a right debate on. Oh, yeah, no. Red or brown, red or brown. Yeah, I'm, I'm red. So you're only brown. I know, no, not on sausage, but not on spam. I just fancy some red sauce for a change. That's all. all. Right. So Chico's sniffing. He's having a sniff. Chico's always sniffing. And we've also got for sale the branded Novas on tour cups, haven't we? Yeah, don't forget because we've got them all with us. So if you want one, drop us an email, and I can tell you how to get one, and we will post them out to you while we're in Scotland. Ah, oh, guess what I found. Because everyone was saying to me, this Lancashire tea business, they're in all the supermarkets, so I've bought some. So later on, I'm going to do a taste test. It has to stand up to this Yorkshire tea. I'll do it no as well, good, shall I? You don't know what's what. I do, I'm a connoisseur of tea. 
Right, let's test these salt and pepper rolls. Annalise, it's all on you. It smells a bit like tiger roll, Lisa. Yeah, they do and they look like tiger rolls. With salt and pepper on. Mm. Mm. Nicer than plain rolls. Right, so we're just packing up and it's just gone really dark. I'm literally stood under the skylight at the minute because the weather's hit again. So we've got wind, rain, yeah. everything going on at the minute. But I wanted to show you a Christmas present that Mark got me because I'm, am I always whinging, Mark? Look how dark it's yeah, gone. You want, you want a flipping makeup studio, don't you? That's what it is. Well, no, it? when we gave up the house, I had a dressing room and it had all my makeup in it and it had the Hollywood mirrors and everything. It's Look how dark it is in here. How are you supposed to get dressed? So what he's gone and bought me, bless him. Hold the door. Mm -hmm. In the bathroom. Look how dark it is in the bathroom. It's so dark and yuck, horrible. He's bought me my own Hollywood lights. Look at that. You're quite, you weren't impressed on Christmas Day. You didn't think they were very good. No, you? I must admit, I did give him a bit of a look. Um, but no, I, I really, really like them. Really like them. Mm. Just on batteries, so you can turn them on and off. They take three uh, AA batteries each, don't they? Yeah. So so if you're interested in these he got them off amazon and we'll put the link in the description below if you fancy them what a difference you're all right and they worth a lot of money and they they you know they do the job don't they and you've put them on command strips haven't you yeah. so we can remove them to, to put, put batteries in them yeah so yeah they're solid solid on happy as larry god i must clean this mirror it's a mess mm -hmm. so yeah thanks well done and another thing i just wanted to show you because it was part of our channel my daughter bought me this necklace can you see now there's a little gadget there's a paw print mm -hmm. and there's a little gadget there now when you look through there you can see woody it's woody's picture mm -hmm. isn't it yeah. such a thoughtful daughter thanks yeah, livia because thank i really really love that and i'll i don't know the wear necklaces but that's staying around my neck for good that uh yeah so woody can still come on the adventures with me mark and chico so yeah let's um try and get to moffitt mark the door's shaking. It's windy again, isn't it? Oh, Come look at it up there, though. You can see how dark mm. it's gone. We're either going to drive to Moffat or get blown there, or. Ma oh, did you hear that? Mm. Wow, let's go. <laughs> so, we're just checking on Chico. He's straight in his bed, wrapped up, got a, a treat, got his favourite toy. He's got this at Christmas. That's his little Peter Rabbit. He loves it. My daughter didn't like it because she said it looks like a real flat rabbit. <laughs> there you go. So you're okay now, aren't you, Cheeks? You're all sorted. We went to Manchester Markets the other week. We've got a new addition for the van. A proper Manchester wool, made by sheep's wool. B. So Mark bought me that as well. To go with our collection of bees. I had some lovely messages off people as well when I told them that uh, we were involved in the Manchester Arena bombing. Uh, yeah, it was one of the worst times of our life, probably, but you need to try and get a rise above it and carry on, don't you? It's took a long time. We're still a bit dubious about going into cities and stuff. It still has gives me a bit of anxiety, but you can't let them beat you, can you? So yeah, we carry on. Right, so we're off. We found a park up for tonight. Moffat High Street, apparently. It's on search for sats. Very quiet at night. Right slap bang in the middle of everything we need to go and have a look at. So that should be quite good. Fingers crossed it's not busy. And not everyone's got the same idea. We went through Moffat last year, didn't we, when we went to... Uh Grantstown. Yeah, when we went up that way last year. Big yeah, we didn't have time to stop, did we? Because again, we had a storm chasing us up right up to uh, Scotland, and we just wanted to get where we wanted to be. So, but I've been dying to have a look around Moffat. Yeah. It's not massive, but they're worth having a look. So we're just getting back on the M6, and I don't know whether you can see it, but right in front of us, everything's flooded. <laughs> Thank God the motorway's built built up a bit or else it'd have been right over the road. It's quite flat here though, isn't it? Yeah. Look at this outside here. Water everywhere. Oh my goodness, that poor field. It it's like a river mark. Oh dear. How close it's come to the motorway. We're a good way up though, aren't we? Oh yeah. Well, it's, it's like we're going across a river, isn't it? Look at it. Both sides. 
and we haven't even got into Scotland yet so apparently still um is it what's this one they called it the storm storm garrett or something like that what a mess it's made river eden no. wow you can't even tell where the river starts and the land stops everyone's messaging messaging us sending uh, messages about the a9 in scotland that's right up at the top um, we're not going anywhere near there until we get the all clear they've got snow heavy rain winds so yeah, we're, we're picking where we need to be and where we can get at the moment, safely. directly behind the traffic the the accident they're gonna be stuck there for a while by the looks of it take the first exit onto the b7076 towards john stony bridge oh. then turn right. <laughs> john stony bridge sat nav's turned scottish <laughs> oh dear he's not going up there is he because he won't get back up motorway does he not know oh dear good luck on that one Especially when diversions are queuing as well. Oh well, we'll get there when we get there. You just gotta be patient in these circumstances, aren't you? So I don't know whether you can see just down there, that's the motorway and you can see all the queue of people that have got stuck in that accident. It's like a car park, isn't it? I feel really sorry for them, Mark. God knows how long that's gonna to take to clear. Look at them, it's just one after another. And our road's nice and free. Yes, we finally made it and we found a parking spot. Yeah. Just behind us there. We took a wrong turn, didn't we? Oh, up going up we? and over hills. Well, try to, but yeah, you, it was dead end, so I don't want that. <laughs> but yeah, we're in Moffat and we are parked on the, literally on the High Street and it's mm. free parking. Loving Scotland already. Yeah. This is what it's all about, isn't it? So we're going to stop here tonight as well because it's yeah. we're not. We've only got an hour of light left, haven't we, more or less? It's so. ridiculous, isn't it? Bring back summer when it's eight, it's like light till eight o'clock, isn't it? Yeah. But we've just parked up, we've got a garden centre right on his doorstep, which I'm gonna go and have a look at. Moffat's like ye old traditionally traditional Scottish town, isn't it? What's yeah. this here? Moffat House. That looks nice, doesn't it? Yeah. Very old. You can imagine coaches going round there, can't you? Pulling up and dropping you off. Little Miss Moffat Moffat lives there, isn't she? Little Miss Moffat. God. Who knows that rhyme? Is it a nursery rhyme? I yeah. don't know. I so. Oh, it's a thing like Hogmanay. It's a dining place, Hogmanay. Oh, they're doing, are they doing Hogmanay? Yeah. <laughs> 65 pound. <laughs> what was Christmas Day? How much was that? Fully booked. It doesn't say, does no it? Price on it. Mm. Expensive then, probably. Hogmanay taste, eh? With music and dancing, 65 pound. Courses for horses. Oh, fish and chips, Mark, but it looks shop. Oh. <laughs> what day are we on? I don't know what day it is. What, it, it's Thursday, isn't it? Thursday, isn't it? Yeah. Funny how you lose track of days, isn't it? You, you'll probably be suffering the same if, you, if you're regularly going to work Monday to Friday and you've been off for a few days. You lose track, don't you, where you are with these days. So. But when you finish work completely, you, you completely lose track. I keep thinking we're in January already, B. Yeah. Had loads of rain here, haven't they, by the looks of it? So. They know about it, that's all we've been going on about since we hit Scotland, isn't it? Yeah, there was just a tiny bit of snow on the hills as we came into the town, weren't there? You could just see it on the edge of the yeah. walls. But. So that's a pottery place there. What else have we got? We've got Stag's Hotel up here. It's for sale, another pub for sale. Someone messaged me actually because we did mention about pubs normally do really well in Scotland. There's a lot of suffering. They said there's a lot shutting down. I think it's not a case of the pubs problem, it's a case of people can't afford to go and drink out. Probably not, no. Yeah, look. It's shut. Fun, what a shame. Beautiful That's pub, isn't it? Until they got free wifi. A free wifi? Mm -hmm. 
Mark likes a bit of free wifi. Yeah. Right, let's go and see what's up this way then. So I've done no research on Moffat because I didn't really know if we we're going to make it here or not. We do know of this place, we have heard of it. We drove through last year, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, I know it's got a petrol station because we had to fill up last year. That's all cheap. I know. That's all I know. It reminds me of Moffat. We're dead cheap now. We drove past today and it's not cheap anymore. How much was it, Mark? I didn't see. It was one, one pe uh, diesel 147.8 mm. or something. Oh. It's coming in at about 142, 141. Yeah, 142 ish, isn't it? Look so. that street going up there, Mark. Yeah. I don't, I don't think I'm going to take my motor home up there. Looks a bit Sorry. tight, doesn't it? Yeah. I think we're walking that bit out of the town coming this way. Yeah, it looks like it, but we'll cover this bit anyway, can't we? There's a veterinary, veterinary centre. What we definitely don't want to do is miss out on any decent Chinese takeaways for tea. I'm sure we uh, did a shop before we set off here, Mark. And actually, you have got egg fried rice. Yeah, but it's only from Morrison's. Don't matter, it's egg fried rice. Put it in the comments below, anyone who buys these Chinese ready meals from like Iceland or from Asda or Morrison's. I mean, not, we're nowhere near like the Chinese, are they? the heck, no. Convenience food, isn't it? But look at this. Just come around the corner and look at that stunning church. And it's the only thing that's got sun on it. Isn't it strange, right, that? Well, everything else has got a, a shadow cast on it. What a gorgeous, gorgeous church. Oh, here we go. Thank God it's closed. I'm excited about my first chip shop here. It's closed at the minute, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know when I'm going to do a bit of Googling in a bit, but I'm just looking for battered... Fish, no. sausage, burger. Mars bar. Oh. We don't do one though, we do kebabs. No. They're not bad prices, are they really? If it's still open, I suppose it uh, is. It's not looking like it's been used for a while, but it, I say in that, what does it say, Mark? 5 pm, Monday to, Monday to Sunday. Opens at 5 o'clock. 5 o'clock, so we haven't got long. <laughs> and we're parked right opposite. More or less, we're just over there, aren't we? I'm it's sure not bad, there. actually, price wise. Yeah. It ain't bad at all. I treat myself. Oh, here's your petrol, Mark. 146. Yeah, well, it's a golf. We didn't come to this one. Well, there's one further down, isn't there? Yeah. This What's is one of the ways where you go to Edinburgh on this main road here, you carry on right and up over the top. We, yeah. We might end up going that way. I wonder yeah. if that's uh, housing now. Big building, isn't it? Just be sat there like that. That red stone, we're already back into <laughs> that red stone. With the smallest little right? Christmas tree on it, Mark. Can yeah. you see it up there? Aren't we though? We're back into that red stone again now. We're in sort of southern Scotland. Mm. We're not Dumfries area, are we? A little bit. No, north no. No, we're not near, nowhere near Dumfries. We passed that well and truly. So we've got a spa there as well if we need anything from the spa. There's public toilets at the back as well because I've already been. Public yeah, toilets. They're open 24 7. Um, bins. You've got bins, yeah, which obviously you've got to be mindful and respectful. Don't put a massive big bag of stuff in. But... You know what I'm looking for? A water tap. Just in case you need. Oh, oh there. Right. Up at top there. Near them parts is a water tap. Hanging from the wall. Well equipped for us motor armors then. Now then, what's this? Munchies, Mark. Okay. Munchies, coffee shop. We are open, dog friendly. Oh, yeah, it's quite good, isn't it? Yeah. Look how sweet this is. It's like a little cottage, isn't it? Yeah. Cash payments on it. Is it? Let's say breakfast. Eight, oh, the we set breakfast. 8.75 Mark. Do you know, it's funny because we've not long since left, left England, got into Scotland and straight we're in thick of it in Scotland because we're going to be able to get sliced sausage, aren't we? We're going to be able Long to get sausage. fired rolls, well fired morning rolls. We're going to be able to get scotch broth. I can't believe it. Hot filled rolls Mark, look. I like it. Hot filled rolls. Mm. Lots about soups, quiches, mm, sandwiches. Well, your we the we set breakfast go out or Link, oh it's link sausage here but you get tatty scone i miss that often tatty scone oh. there is more to scotland than food you know
found Where? in Scotland. What? Tapas. <laughs> really? Hugo's. This place, look, they do tapas and sharing platters. Mm -hmm. Do a breakfast until 11 o'clock as well with your square sausage rolls, £3.50. Chicken fries, right? So. No, there is not. <laughs> yeah, I made you look. Right you right. did actually make me look. <laughs> oh, look at this. We love these. So much effort goes into these. Look at this. It's literally a little um, Santa's world on there, isn't there? Mm. Everything, the elves, Santa's, trees. They're all full of water. Oh, they're all dripping, aren't they? They're sodden. That <laughs> like cow's teats, aren't they? Yeah. Oh. Santa's and everything on there. That's it? really nice, isn't it? You always find them on a post box. Look at that up there. That's an old place, isn't it? Like a stables. Yeah. This is Balmoral Hotel, Mark. Moffitt. Fine food and accommodation. The actual high street itself, I'm very surprised that I'm letting, letting uh, people park here for free. They could be making a fortune. There's a few places we've been to over the time, aren't there, where it's like that, where you park in the actual centre. Yeah. Not just in Scotland, but down in England as well. Another tea room around there, there are a tea around here. So we've just come, we're having a bit of an argument here. We've just come across this church here, and it's only got one little spire. Like, what, what do you call them? Peak? tower like, like a spire isn't it but it looks like it should have four on it that's not right in the middle it's right on the edge on the corner i don't get that i've never seen it before to tell you the truth and the church that we saw earlier on in the vlog is now houses or flats looks inside like it's residential yeah it, so. so that must be the main church from off it here behind us is a place called Moffitt Mill isn't it we were going to go in but I, we, we're short to daylight really yeah. at the minute so we're going to have a look in there tomorrow morning aren't we? we'll take plus if it's tomorrow. raining tomorrow we've got somewhere yeah. covered we can have a look at we'll carry on up on the high street now where we're parked yeah. it's not massive Moffitt no, no. it won't take you long to get round but it's, it is pretty it's very yeah. nice a lot, there's still quite a lot of places shut isn't there? shut for good or shut for because of Christmas and New Year break, isn't there? So. Yeah, like I said, it's that twilight zone week in between Christmas yeah. and New Year where everyone's a bit sluggish or they don't bother opening the shops. So Mark was right, the smell that he smelt is down here and it looks like a fish and chip shop that might just be open. Oh, they've got the biggest jumbo sausages I've ever seen. We're going back to Van with this when we get it. <laughs> yeah, get in. Fish and chips, can't beat it, can you? When in Scotland. No, I've sent Lisa in with strict orders, battered jumbo sausage, chips and baked beans. So we are at the chippy, we've got the goods, lot of two bags of stuff out, keep me going till me eat food later on, won't it? Can't believe I'm getting chipper. I've got a van full of food, Mark. We've just bumped in to two lovely subscribers yeah. outside the chippy, haven't we? Thanks for coming and saying hello. What was your name, Lisa? Paul and you said you were going to send me a link anyway because you're yeah. two of our mugs, so but please, anyway. please comment on this vlog below, let me know. And then we'll sort that out for you. I've no stickers yeah. on me either. No, uh, fancy you. you. Schoolboy error. So we've got the chips. They also told me that that chip shop down there do battered. I weren't going to say anything. They do battered. What do they do? Battered. They do battered everything. They, I think they batter Chico if they got a chance. They do battered cheeseburgers and everything, don't they? Battered cheeseburgers. Battered. Mars bars. And some do battered pizzas. You wouldn't have told me though, would you? You could have no. got one for after. No. Yeah, I'm not buying one. You should have gone in. Well, I'll walk back down. Yeah. Oh, look at them. Tweed, a tweed pet toy. Oh, it's a pet shop, Mark. Mm. Oh, pet shop. Oh, look at all this Chico. Show him. What's that up there? Look, he's having a look. Pick a toy. <laughs> Any toy. It's open until four o'clock. Well, we're still here tomorrow anyway, so I've got a feeling it's going to start raining any minute. Yeah, there's no point in rushing around, will it? No, we're, no. We've only been in Scotland for a while, yeah, haven't we? So. It seems that Moffat is just full of bed and breakfast, hotels and cafes and restaurants. That's all we've seen. I've just been in the Bernardo's Gars, didn't get nothing. And what else have we not seen, apart from cafes? I don't know. Chinese. Oh, yeah. <laughs> how, can I not, how can I not remember that? Chips and gravy for dinner. I ain't even sat down yet and you're halfway through yours, aren't you? Mm. Jumbo sausage, chips and beans. Mm. Nice kids meal there for you. Weren't cheap that, you know. How much was it? 11.70. Mm. I think that's quite expensive, really, for chips and gravy and sausage, chips and beans. Oh, well, let's get it eaten and then I can nip into the garden centre. Can I have some paper? I've eaten all my food, haven't I? Oh, goodness. 
good, that. Yeah, I couldn't finish it. I've even spilt it down, Miller. Well, it wouldn't be a chipper without you spilling down your top, would it? It's good, that, wouldn't it, really? I enjoyed that. Must admit, the chips and gravy were quite nice, but still not worth nearly £12. Right, he's been fed so we can carry on now. I want to go and have a look at this Moffat Garden Centre before it closes. It's literally... <laughs> there! Oh, petting aquatics. So let's see what they've got to offer because uh, it looks well sweet. I don't know why I went in the garden centre because it's all stuff that I can't have in the motorhome. It's nice to look at. Yeah, a lot of Christmas stuff still, aren't they? But... Yeah, a lot not reduced either. I thought everything would have been reduced by now, but we have seen one little more side street that looked like there was quite a few things down there. So we're just going to go and investigate there. Chico stayed in the motorhome with the diesel eater on because he weren't amused being out earlier on. He was dragging his paws everywhere. Yes. He's found one. He has found probably the only Chinese in Moffat, but he's found it. I thought it was a bit odd, me, so I'm not being a Chinese takeaway here. Why? Because yeah. it was. Look at that, look, 10 inch salt and chili munchy box. That's like a pizza box, isn't it? That's everything salt and pepper, isn't it? Spare ribs. They call it chili up here, don't they? Salt and yeah. chili. Chicken bites, chips, chicken balls. Go on chips. then, let's see what's it all imperative. Chicken bites. Chicken fried rice. Where are we looking? I don't know. Wait, oh, there you go. Ooh, seven pound. Seven pounds seems to be the new five fifty six pound yeah, mark, doesn't it? Doesn't it sound nice that breast of chicken fried rice with gravy? We always just get it with gravy, didn't we? Mm. I can see a show in one. I can see like. someone. No, we're not. We've just had fish and chips. Oh, well, later on though. No, right? you jumped in with the fish and chips. You're not having two takeaways in one day. Spoiler it. Yeah, yeah, I know. Who thinks that looks like Chico with tongue out? Yeah, but it's got Chinese style eyes and not Chico eyes. Oh, but. I like it. These are the same antique shops up here. There's quite a lot in there. Yeah. But look at this polar bear. I'm glad Chico's not here. He'd be barking like mad, wouldn't he? It's yeah. massive. So the sun is setting on us rapidly. We're losing a lot of light very quick. And it looks like it's going to rain again, doesn't it? It looks that way, doesn't it? Got a bit of a candy floss uh, skyline going on, haven't we? Pinks, greys, blues. So we're going to head back to the van and yeah. make sure Chico's alright because we forgot to leave my light on. Yeah. And we'll probably pick you guys up in the morning. When we go to the, what is it, a, a mini market type thing? I don't market. know what it is. It's a Scottish a mall, isn't it? A Scottish really mill good. shop. So we're going to go and get warm in the van and settle down for the night. So we'll catch you guys in the morning. Good morning. Same outfit, different day. And we ended up moving last night. We came off the high street, didn't we? Same yeah. morning. Morning. <laughs> yeah, we came off it because it was a little bit... Busy. When it, people walking past and yeah. looking, mo mooping around. So. Now, we had spotted this co op that we stayed at last night. Yesterday, didn't we? On us walk around, and mm -hmm. there's nothing to say you can't stop here. It was nice and quiet last night. Yeah, so, right, yeah. a few deliveries at seven o'clock this morning. A couple but... of cars coming in, speeding around late last night, like they're chasing each other. <laughs> I don't that know what that were night, about. Nothing to mean anything. Nothing out of the ordinary, anyway. So. Yeah, so we've moved. But we're. We're even nearer to the mill that we wanted to go to yesterday and as we thought it is raining today so we yeah. did the best thing yesterday didn't we yeah so we're next to moffitt mill so we're moffitt mill there. i believe there's a lot of like kilts and stuff in there so i might treat myself what did you do down there for? Kilts and stuff. oh right i wonder what you were doing um yeah but they also do breakfast so we're going to treat ourselves to a little bit of breakfast in there aren't we yeah uh Chico, I don't think Chico's allowed in. No, we didn't wait in We're not going to be long, are we? Then we're off, aren't we? Yes. But before we do, we mentioned yesterday about some teas, didn't mm. we? You like your Yorkshire tea, like don't you? Like it, love it. Mm. Love it. So, we're going to do the taste test. Mark's organising it all. Um, so, we've got Lancashire tea and Yorkshire tea. The Lancashire tea I found in Morrison's the other day, didn't I? Mm. So, he's going to blind test me, he's going to make two teas and I've got to tell him which is the best. I hope I pick my Yorkshire tea after all this. Can you imagine? I know, so let's go and do this. Lancashire tea. Yeah. Looks very it. like Yorkshire tea, the box, but I think it's orange if I can yeah. remember them rightly. Yeah, we've got them in the Norvas and Tour Cups. They're different shaped tea bags, so we'll Yeah, we'll, we'll mix them take around. it all out. You won't, I won't be able to tell a thing, Mark. See, I don't know how to oh. do this bit. It's built it now. Neither do I by the looks of it. Right, go on. It's your test time. Are ready? It's tea. That 
that's your option too. No, it's not your own. Am I? No, you're right. I'm right. I knew all right. It looked a bit washed out, that Lancashire tea, I must admit. Yeah, whoever says York Lancashire tea is better than Yorkshire tea, it's not. Yorkshire tea is nice and strong, just how I like it. Even if you put loads of milk in it, it stays strong. It's just got that taste. Sorry, Lancashire. I know I've come from there, but don't like your tea. But what we are doing is these cups, are, as we've already said, are still available to purchase, aren't they? Yeah. You can't have this one because it's been used. <laughs> but, um, but that's what you get, one of them. Mmm. Come back to when I finish my tea. So here we are at the mill. We've literally come from over there, haven't we? Yeah, co-op's just yeah. over there. And as you can see, massive spaces for coaches, but there's no coaches coming this time oh, of not, year, is not there? Not so many, is it? So we parked in this one here. But what I will say, you think oh, it'd be cracking for overnight parking. It would. No. But they shut the gates, don't they? So. Yeah. The gates. We we checked last night. The gates get locked. Yeah. They could charge a five a night, couldn't they? Mm. Make a few quid. But. Well, this is Moffat Mill. This is the place we're going to come and look at. I bet it's really deceiving, this place. I bet it looks really small and it's massive inside. Well, it's got a food hall anyway. James Pringle. Can you remember Pringle Tops? Oh, Harris Tweed. Who's heard of Harris Tweed? I mentioned it to you like yesterday, didn't I? That's what I'm on about. They have all the kilts and stuff. Whiskey shop. They have cashmere. Whiskey shop, Mark. Food hall. Oh, God. God help me. Let's go and see what's going on. We need to get some breakfast first and foremost. Mm. Apparently it's £6 for breakfast. We'll see. Straight away into the traditional Scottish flag. Get some of them for Mark, I think. We can do some skinny dipping the further we get up. Oh, they're well sweet. Look at them. Look at these kilt boxes, Lisa. Oh, look at them ones. Oh, I love them. Built in sparring, Mark. Yeah. So is that where your sparring comes out? Oh. Look, Mark. I wonder if we get to see Nessie on his trip. I hope so. I'll go <laughs> swimming in there to, yeah. to find it. Yeah, I think you should. Oh, there's loads of stuff in here. Oh my God, we're not going to be able to show you everything. I've got a but... water bottle for Chica. Oh, how much are they? 11 99 Oh, they were 12 99 last time we saw them, weren't they? Are we to get him one? We well, might pull ears off. But... Oh, they might chew on it. Oh, <gasps> look at little slippers for him. A <laughs> bit too big, aren't they? Wow. Awesome. Oh, look at that. Mm. Oh, it's too big, though. What a shame. Okay. Oh, that's the one, Mark. It's got oh, built in hair. Yeah, yeah it's lovely, is that? It could be it. has been here for a while, can't you? Yeah. There's a lot. Oh, look at this one for me yeah. with pigtails. Well, I'll get that. Wow, look at that. You get to pick your items as well. Uh -huh. Six, six, ten or twelve items. Yeah, so it was six pound, wasn't it, for them breakfasts? Yeah, they are. brilliant. And then you get the toast extra. So. Fantastic. Right, so we'll leave that vlog here. I do believe we are moving on now. Mm. We are leaving Moffat and we are heading up to Falkirk. On sea. <laughs> Uh, we're going to find somewhere for New Year's Eve. I do believe it's New Year's Eve you're going to be watching this. So, Happy New Year for Happy tomorrow. New Year's Eve. Don't get too drunk and I'll stay safe. I know we will be doing. I'm not. We're not doing much away because we've got no, cheap. Quiet one. We're going to be busy editing these videos for you guys. We're going to try and get two out a week again as as normal. So. So we'd like to thank everybody for your support and subscriptions in the 2023. Mm. We've had a fantastic year on this channel. Enough to be able to give up home, give up work life, and do it full time. That's down to you guys watching yeah, us. Thank you. So we do really do appreciate it. So for now, if you've liked this video. Please like, comment and subscribe. Make sure you subscribe. Yes, please make sure. Keep it going. And we'll catch you on the next one.